welcome back to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? I hope you guys are all having a fantabulous day. Today, we're getting into some wood burning. So, this is what I am going to burn. Indian chief head onto some wood. So, we're going to trace that out. We're going to talk. My camera, hopefully, I have enough color in here so my camera doesn't wig out from all the white. I gotta find something to put on this table because all this white, the wood that's on the table is it, a little dirty looking. So I put white on it thinking it would clean it up a little bit, but it's not the best for videoing purposes. So I'm just gonna line this up with this and this notch and then across the bottom. So I know exactly where I need to keep it at. And I'm using a color pencil. Because I can't find a pencil in this damn house. Hey, there's a little notch there. So, today, we're going to talk a little bit about Phoenix to start out with, because Phoenix has been... a little stinker lately. I don't know what her deal is. I think it's a female. I think it's a female. That's just what I think. Um, off of what I found on YouTube. All signs right now look like she is a female. But... Not a hundred percent certain because she could, um, the way of telling if Pac-Man Frog is a male or a female is its front feet. They have five toes. Or five feet, sorry. Five, five fingers, five toes, whatever the hell you call them on a frog. But these two right here, if it's a male, it'll get a real dark brown spot right here on both sides. And that's how they grab a hold of the female during the mating process. That is like, does something. I don't know if this is all off of YouTube videos that I have been watching and Doing a lot of research on pac bands. Phoenix has been super weird lately, and that's why I kind of think it's a female because she's kind of gone off the, gone off of food. She doesn't really want food. She's very, very temperamental. Okay, so we want. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with this one. And this is head number one. So we need to turn that to there. Uh, I bring this in so you guys can see this a little bit better. And the machine. Um, I found last time I was burning around 30, 35 to 38, like 35 to 40 in that range was a good range to burn this tip is all sorts of crooked that's what comes with wood burning tips wear out I'm trying to think of something i have to straighten this with oh where are i don't have any tweezers out here hold on y'all hold on Trusty Dusty uh, Treasure Studios Art Pink Tweezers. This is an old set I've had around for a long time. In my junk bag. I think this is the second painting I ever got. I got t pink tweezers. And I was like, what? Pink tweezers? Love them. Have pink tweezers all over the place. Yes, I'm a guy, and I like pink. I don't care. I'll rock the hell out of that pink. 
I ain't scared. I'm getting ready to go. If my brother ever decides he's going to get it with me. But we're going to go get a pink tattoo in memory of my mom. It's going to be a breast cancer ribbon. And it's going to be probably on my arm somewhere. Like here. Uh, maybe out here. I don't know exactly. Oh, crazy cat. But it's going to be a breast cancer ribbon. And then it's going to have a needle going through my skin into the ribbon. And then it's through my skin and have blood dripping down the other side. That's going to be my tattoo. Me and my brother have been talking about it for a while. And if he ever decides he's going to go get it, I'm ready. So. We have our outline. This is warming up. It should be warm in just a few seconds. Um, I may have to move you guys like this because I I turn a lot as I'm working. Um, where's my test? No, my candy sitting on my test. And you guys didn't even see that. That was nice. Just, just nice. Just nice. Nice. You guys can't even see. Camera's in my face. I don't like this. That's the issue that I go through with this. Hard time trying to find a angle. So, Phoenix has been a little temperamental little turd bucket. I don't know what his her deal is. She was doing really good for a, quite a while. And then, as of recently, she got a little... I don't know, she's just, she's just acting weird. And she's always been a little on the temperamental side when it comes to eating. She always wants to eat my hands instead of the food. And finally got it to where she was comfortable eating. But... She was very picky. So when I finally got her to eating crickets, because they're supposed to eat crickets with calcium on them, because that's some things that Pac-Man frogs don't uh, get a lot of because they're inside. They're supposed to have calcium. And I've had a hell of a time getting her to eat. She was very, very picky at first. When I first brought her home, she didn't eat for all oh, three or four days and I was just like man what's wrong with this frog she just doesn't want to eat doesn't want to eat so I started researching more and more into YouTube and I found some really cool YouTube channels that I have subscribed to and they explain a lot of the stuff that she was doing. That comes out to a little bit more of a tip. And basically what it is, is that I'm feeding her in her tank. Which, ah shit, I went out of line a little bit. They said it's not bad to feed her out out or in her tank it's just they recommend her being fed out of her tank because when she's in her tank she's in a 10 gallon aquarium she's a frog this big that sits in one corner 
by the heat pad and has a whole two feet of tank and because oh crap on my I need sandpaper I didn't grab any sandpaper darn it I should use my tweezers see every once in a while it will get wood deposit built up on the tip and that's usually what wants to spark up so I from everything I found and read it's just she wasn't finding food in the big 10 gallon tank where's my glasses All right. I got bifocals on these babies My eyes are just watery for some reason. I just got out of the shower. But basically she was in too big of a tank when she, I was trying to feed her and she couldn't find food. Basically. So now I take her out and I put her into a, oh shit shoot uh, I take her out and I put her into a um I was using a critter cager you know like you used to have when you're a little kid you used to put little critters in the little the little trays that had the pop open top on it you used to go grab all kinds of stuff when a kid fill that thing up I, I was keeping her in that and the other day, I opened it up to put some crickets in there, and she jumps right out of that thing. I'm like, holy crap, she's jumping all across my counter. I'm like, get back here, you little shit. Catch her up, stick her back in there. And I was like, you know what? I need something bigger for you, something taller. Because if I'm throwing crickets in there, she's just... She's just hopping all over the place. And I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't think so. So I stuck her in. Um, I had an old, uh, like, the hell do they call those pans? Like an, a big hospital pan. It wasn't like the, the one you get when you go in for surgery. It was the bigger, bigger size. And I put her in that, and she jumps right out of it. I'm like, Phoenix, you turd. This is getting a little too hot. I was like, you turd. So I put her into a five-gallon bucket. She about jumps out of that. She comes up and almost hits me in my face. I'm like, frog. You seriously want to escape? Oh, I'm going to have to concentrate here because this is a turn. Smart. You see, I moved the wood as I was going. Yeah. I wish I had a, a hole burner because I could just burn that one. As a whole, so now she gets put into a five gallon bucket, and she's proven to me today that she can jump right out of that five gallon bucket. I'm like, huh, okay, I guess I gotta put uh, plexiglass top on this while you're in here, you little devil. So she is in the kitchen right now with three um, three crickets dusted with calcium and plexiglass top with my gun sitting on top of it. <laughs> I came home from work, I set my gun on the counter. And I was like, uh, yeah, it could sit there. Nobody's going to be here. So 
so when I went to go put her into her bucket so she can eat, I was like, hmm, what do I have to hold this down? I was like, oh, my nine males sitting right here. Perfect. We're getting there, everybody. We're getting there. I hate doing circles. They're hard. And usually when I do a circle, it usually ends up and looks like a, a, a square almost. Because I mean, This is my last project I did. And this was supposed to be a circle. Uh, it's close. It's close. But that's my last one with it nice and coated. I did one coat of Mod Podge and then one coat of this uh, super gloss wood and um, resin. So I'm going to turn this down. I don't want it to burn real hot because I want to be able to... I think I outlined it enough, so I'm going to shut this off for a second, switch over to this other shading tip. So, hopefully she eats. She did not want to eat anything. She didn't want nothing to do with the mouse. I tried to feed her a... a a dead frozen mouse that I bought at Petco. You can buy them in a baggie of three. It was just a little fuzzy baby. <sighs> Cheers to everybody. I'm drinking out of my Moosehead Canadian Lager beer mug. It's not beer. It's sweet tea. I got my favorite coaster. I'm using my favorite coaster. Wake and bake. Oh yeah. So I think we're ready to indulge into this bad boy and fill everything in. So I end up bought a new set. I need to switch this to that. I end up and bought a new set of tips. And their ball tips, not all of them are ball tips. There, it was 25 new tips, and there was three of them were, were ball tips. And they use these a lot for fill-in. So I bought them, figured I'd give them a shot. I'm on head two, head two. Okay, turn it back on. And let's get her back up to my temperature I want. 30... Come on. There we go. See how that works. Let's see if she's getting hot. I always like to test. Maybe not hot enough for this ball tip. I'm still playing with the ball tip. If I have to, I'll change it out real quick. 39. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. It's quite nice. So we're just going to go ahead. So hopefully she eats and she's good. Trapper do. He's he's been a spoiled dog. Um 
I took a video today of him when I got home. I was going to post it onto Instagram, but uh, I was kind of afraid I was going to get some slack off of it because I forgot I had my gun sitting on the counter and I took a video of him. Uh, this might not be hot enough. And as I turn around to talk to Phoenix, my gun was sitting there and I was like, mm, I don't know. Should I post it? Should I not post it? I don't know. But it was just cute. I came home. Trapper was sitting in the window of the house looking out like, Hey, Dad. It's, alright, this is just not hot enough. I have to jack it up to get this Pacific style tip to get hot. Oh, she's hot now. Ooh. So I come home. He's sitting in the window on the couch like, hey, dad. My dad's been coming over and letting him out around noon, maybe one-ish. Letting him out go potties and then comes in the house turns their swap cooler on and lets Trapper come in and hang out for the rest of the day until I get home I'm usually home around 4.30 5 o'clock at the latest if, if I'm busy 5.30 Right now, at work, we we picked up and got busy all of a sudden. And the mail-outs, the mail-out right now is on freaking, like, yeah, 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 on point. I mean, we, we make good money off mail-outs, so I ain't complaining at all off mail-outs. And what I'm talking about, I work for a print shop, and we do, uh mailings t and for companies in my area and they do a, a mail out um, right now we're doing multiple different mail outs for multiple different realtors in the area just sending out a mail out saying hey you know we're still open if you need help with anything I'm gonna buy a house. We're still here. And we just did three mail outs. I did, well, I did three mail outs today. Uh, all realtors. So, it's nice to finally be picking back up in business. Um, finally, almost done going through all of the pallets and the new new place I don't know if I like this tip very much I keep having to stop and let it warm up because I'm as fast as I'm I'm going it's cooling down too much but I don't want it any hotter because it's a comfortable temperature right now but finally getting caught up with work and uh, just going through pallets of stuff. I fixed the forklift because we sold part of the forklift to the neighbor because we don't need a clamp to pick up newspaper rolls anymore. And he was interested in it. And, and for us using his forklift during the move... We gave him the clamp in exchange, and he was happy with it. But I had to tear the controllers off of the forklift and put the old side shift back on the forklift. So I got it pulled off yesterday, and I went to go try to put the side shift on today, but my boss was like, hey, we got jobs. Let's, let's, get, some, let's get some money come in. I was like, okay, let's go. Let's go, skin. Whoa. Whoa. 
Ready to sell you some cornbread, y'all. Ready to sell you some cornbread. I love me some good old cornbread. Yum. Yeah, I don't really know if I like this tip too much. I keep having to slow down and cool it off. Or let it warm up. So, I think I'm going to change tips real quick. I don't know if I'm going to go back to my old tip that I was using. Cool off. Cool off. Okay. You don't know how much out of shape you are until you do stuff like this because I'm making little tiny circles and just just making all those little tiny circles. Like my 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 forearm is just like Yeah, you're killing me over here, Smalls. So yeah, I bought big old set of tips. Plus, I, a bunch of these came with this. Ooh, I like that. That might be nice for doing cutting in work. Basically, like the one that's already on here. Just this one has more of a point. Maybe try it one of these times. I think I'm just going to go with... Put that one in here. Uh, dun -dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun -dun. Ooh, that one's cool. That's a, that's a shader. Shader, 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 shader. Okay, so, got me a new tip. I like using new tips. The old tips get a little funky sometimes. Um, after you use them for a while, they will wear out and they will break and you have to replace them. I'll lay that up there because there's a... Sponge with water in it. So... I cool it off. Give it the cool down. Um, so how's you guys' this day going? Have I asked you guys that? Sorry if I'm a little scatterbrained. I'm... I try to um, concentrate as much as I can while I'm doing this because I don't want to go out of the lines. I think it's looking pretty freaking cool so far. Can't wait to uh, finish it. Now this, I'm probably going to have to turn it back down because this bad boy, it gets freaking hot. Okay, so 35. Perfect. Whew, she's already, she's already glowing hot. So here we go. So, a reminder to everybody, I am going live Saturday morning. That's right, Saturday morning, not Saturday night. Um, I am going live Saturday night still, but that's going to be for Patreons only. So, let's... Just to let you guys know, last Sunday, or sorry, last Saturday in the month, I go live in the morning, and I figured I'm going to do a Patreon live that night, because my time slot will be open that night, might as well use it, because I know there's a lot of people out there that ask me all the time, well, can you go live earlier? Can you go live later? So I can make it to your live. And I'm like, I go live pretty late as is, for me anyways. I mean, I know it's, it's late for you guys, because it just, it's, it's late, and I'm sorry that it is late. But it's a good time for me because it's about the time that I usually come in the house and start winding down for the night. Um, I'm pretty much go, 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 go all day long. I get home from work. I go outside. I start doing more work. I, there's so much stuff to do here. It's, it's ridiculous. Try to help out as much as I possibly can, because my dad, 
he's an older gentleman, and I need to help out as much as I can. And my little brother, he helps out when he's in town. Like right now, he's he's been working out of town for the last couple of weeks, and that's he's going to be living out of town for the next like probably two or three months. He'll be out of town, which sucks. Number one, I never hardly ever get to see my brother. Unless it's on the weekend. And then he's usually doing stuff. Or I'm usually doing stuff. And we hardly ever get to see each other. My little brother's my... My best friend. You ask my little brother who's my best friend. He'll tell you I am. Damn. Damn. So I need sandpaper. Carbon buildup. We're each other's best friends. We've been that way since we were little kids. We used to fight, but we used to fight because my brother was the baby and he got everything he ever wanted handed to him. I mean, I kind of did my myself in a way. I got a lot of stuff handed to me. I mean, my mom and my dad treated me like, I don't know, they, they gave me anything I ever wanted because they knew that, you know, I, I live one life and, I, and I'm not going to have a normal life like everybody else does because of my growth hormone deficiency, because I was supposed to actually be a midget. And uh, I took a bunch of junk to grow. Whoa, got hot. And they were like, you got one life and we're going to let you live it. And that's when I was talking about in uh, Sister Tia's live last night. And I was saying that I bought a horse, it was $30,000. And yeah, I bought a horse for $30,000. Well, I should say my mom and dad bought me a horse for $30,000 because they pretty much buy me whatever I wanted. This horse that I bought that was $30,000, the thing about this horse was, this horse was like a godsend when it come to rodeoing. And uh, this, this horse was a cutting and a reining horse, plus the guy won like three or f four world championships and roping on this horse so this horse was uh, like a, a champion for like five years in a row or six years in a row or something like that and then the guy started getting older and he started retiring and getting you know older in life and didn't need the horse anymore because he had a, a multiple other horses that he wanted to to branch off into and try out those other horses. So then the horse that he won all of his championships on was getting older. He was uh, 15 years old, which to me, a 15 year old horse, psh, that's money. That's, a, that's a, a good aged horse, especially when they can live to be 50 years old. Horses live for a long, long time. My aunt had a horse that was a a, a, a I just had a brain fart. Um, a Mustang, a buckskin musk Mustang. One of my favorite color faces in a horse. And uh, that horse was forty-two years old before it started going downhill and my aunt had to make the decision to get rid of her and what way to get rid of her to shoot her and put her in the ground 
went and gave her to a, a sanctuary for horses. Um, they, they lived um, right out the street from me in uh, Bella Vista, which isn't far from where I live. And, uh, man, this pen is on fire. They, they live not too far from us, and they were really, really awesome people. They ran an animal sanctuary for, like, livestock-style animals. Um, actually, one of my beloved cows went to Jim and Chick. Um, I loved Midge. I love Mitch so much. She was the sweetest, sweetest cow. I loved her so much. I have so many memories of Midge. And if you don't know what Midge is, I mean, I, I will tell you the na what the name. Oh, I'm starting to cry. Oh my God! I've never thought I'd cry after saying a cow's name. This cow was a midget. Blatantly, this cow was a midget. I had a lot of common in it. I grew up with this cow ever since that cow was... That cow was a baby when we got it. And I think I was like 8 or 9 when I got it. And I ended up got rid of it when I was like 21 or 22. Like right before my mom passed away. I got rid of her because she was having complications. So I had a lot in common with that cow. I mean, that cow was my baby. That cow lived with me for a long time. That cow went through the same thing I went through. So, and there was nothing they could do for her like they did for me. Although sometimes I wish I would have never had anything done. I wish I would have been left alone. Because I personally think... If I was left alone, and they didn't give me all the shots that I took, and all that crap that I took all the time, that I wouldn't be hurting right now. Because I, I have, my body hurts all the time. And I don't think I'd be hurting right now if I would have, if they would have left me alone. Because in my eyes, they they basically stretched the crap out of my body to make me grow. They fed all of these steroids and all of this crap into my system to make me grow. And I think if they would have left me alone... I would have been fine. Damn, this pen is getting hot. But, that's a little story about me. I never would have thought bringing up Midge's name would have... I love that cow. That cow and I would have were inseparable. See how much better it burns when I just scrape that. That was the good old days. I would not change Anything for the world. I mean, I may have changed taking all that crap when I took it, but changing where I lived and how I was brought up, I wouldn't change it for the world. I love living on this property. I loved always being surrounded by animals. It's... I love it. I love it so much that I would never leave here.
And I have people tell me all the time, Oh, you need to get out of California. I live in the state of Jefferson. I don't live in California. That's another story. And I'll explain that to you. Since I'm not done yet. The state of Jefferson is... Uh, from where I live all the way down to uh, about Red Bluff, which is about 30 minutes from here. We consider this the state of Jefferson, which we have been proposing it to go into play. We have to have it voted in. That's the only issue right now. It has to be voted in by Congress. But we're trying to get... separated from the rest of the Cal state of California. So, basically, from Red Bluff all the way up to Oregon will be considered a state of Jefferson. And it'll be divided off from the rest of California. We will be our own, basically our own new state. We've been proposing this for a long time because we don't want to be affiliated with everything that goes on down south. We want to be able to change it and have it for the better of us, not to better anybody but us. Because some of the stuff that is going on in this world right now is ridiculous. I'm not going to get into it, but there's a bunch of bullshit going on right now. I'm not happy about it. Um, but not much I can do about it. And the reason why I say that is because somebody... changed my voter registration. They sent me the wrong ballot. I get a mail-in ballot every year. They sent me a Democrat. I was like, what the hell kind of scam is this? And the lady's like, oh, it's no scam. Somebody is going around filling out ballots for people, re-registering re them to vote as, as others. I'm like, do what? So yeah, um, about... I think there was a huge number of people that were up in this area and partially down into Southern California that were... got their voting changed on them without even knowing. Very nice. So, there is our completed project for the night. I think it turned out fantastic. Yeah. My circle came out really good, I think. Here's this. It's a couple completed projects I have I'll have to go get my uh, my brush, put a layer of Mod Podge on this. I use the Mod Podge Super Gloss. Just put a thin layer across that, and then I spray it with the gloss, and that gives it this nice glossy coat. So water will repel off of it if you would like to use it as a coaster, 
or you could just use it as a display piece to set hang up in your house or sit in your sh on a bookshelf. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, are my wood burns for sale? As of right now, no. As of right now, Patreons only. And I have decided how I'm going to do my Patreon. I have changed some things up on it once again. I'm not telling anybody what I'm sending you. It's just going to be a surprise every couple of months. I'm going to send you something. Could be this. Could be a Native American bracelet. It could be a thank you card with a gift card in it. It could be, it could be anything. And... I'm going to start out with my VIPs first. So around the, the first of the month, um, not, uh, I'll have to figure out what month I'm going to start it. And then I can get start getting sent out. But the first week, I'm going to do all my VIPs. And then the second week, I'm going to do my number one fan tier. And then the third week of the month, I'm going to do the last tier. And then three or four, five months down the road, I'll give you guys something else. Just a little appreciation. That's all. I know a lot of people who just give out videos for Patreons. And that's cool. I love watching me some Miss Coffee Patreon videos. I don't miss them for the world. I don't have all the time in the world to be making videos. Sorry, that Snickers looked really good and I had to take a bite. But I don't have time right now. It is going into summer. It is my busiest time in the schedule, or the year. I haven't touched my diamond painting since last Saturday. It's pathetic. I had somebody message me and say, hey, did you get that done? Nope, haven't touched it since Saturday. I've been so busy. And then it's been so hot here. By the time I get home from work, it's been so hot, I've been exhausted. Because we don't have any kind of air conditioner or anything in my work right now. Because the landlord is a douchebag. But, I want to show you guys, show my Patreons, I should say, because this is a Patreon item. Somebody asked me if I was going to be selling these. Nope, it's just goodies for the Patreons. But as you see, little trapper cover minders, and there is 20 of them right now. Probably going to have to buy some more again. Um, luckily, they're relatively cheap. I get 10 of them for, I don't know, $4 or something like that. From this bead person. I think I bought her out of stock. But eh. It's alright. So. I'm going to be getting on to. Making some thank you cards. In the next few days. With work. And. Birthday cards. So. Here in the next couple of days. I'm going to set up a Google Doc form. And I'm going to. Mm, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this, but I need addresses for all of my Patreons. I need addresses, and then I, be, I need birthdays, because I want to do a birthday gift to my Patreons. Um, so yeah. I found out how to set it up where you request an address when they a, a new Patreon signs up, but I don't know if you guys can go back and fill that paperwork out or not. But... As of for right now, I'm going to quit jabbering my lips, and I'm going to go get this video to uh, editing. So far, so good. My new phone is lasting. I have 50 minutes on one clip. Are you freaking kidding me? I love you, phone. I really love you. This new phone's freaking badass. I love it to death. So, as always, remember to have some peace. Love and respect for one another, and I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, feel free to smash that subscribe button or ring the bell so you know when I post.
I'm on a schedule. Believe it or not, I'm on a schedule. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, video, and live stream on Saturday. This Saturday, I'll be live in the morning. Be there. I'll see you at 8 a.m. my time, which is Pacific time, which whatever time you are at. And I hope you guys all have a fantabulous one. Bye.